Hello, welcome to today's episode of the Open Levels Daily Devotional Podcast. The Open Levels is written by our Father in the Lord, Pastor Hie Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. I pray that as you listen to today's episode, may you be blessed in Jesus' name. Let's study the Word of God together. Today, June 27, year 2024, the title of our Open Levels for today is As the Father had sent me. Before we continue, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we say thank you. We honor and we adore you. Thank you for your peace and your presence that you have given to us. Thank you for grace and strength. Father, we ask that as we go into your word today, Lord, speak to us. Shed your light in our hearts in the name of Jesus and let your word illuminate our path in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' precious name we are prayed. Amen. Our memory verse is taken from John chapter 20, verse 21. And it says, Then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you, as my Father hath sent me, even so I send you. A Bible passage is from John chapter 14, from verse 10 to 12. And I read from the New Living Translation. Don't you believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words I speak are not my own, but my Father who lives in me, does his work through me. Just believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Or at least believe because of the work you have seen me do. I tell you the truth. Anyone who believes in me will do the same works I have done. And even greater works because I am going to be with the Father. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in our hearts in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us go into the open heavens as written by our Father in the Lord. Looking at today's topic, I'm sure you are asking yourself, how did the Father send me? Acts 10.38 says that Jesus was sent to do good and to heal all that were oppressed of the devil. But then, he was anointed with the Holy Ghost and power for what for that assignment. That's why concerning his ministers, Jesus said in Luke chapter 24 verse 49, Tarry ye in Jerusalem, until thou be endued with power from on high. The condition for being a minister of God, according to Acts chapter 6 verse 1 to 3, is that you must be full of the Holy Spirit. Being baptized in the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues is good. However, other kinds of evidence must also be there. Acts 6 8 says, that Stephen, a man full of the Holy Spirit, performed miracles. Where are the miracles that God has performed through you since your baptism in the Holy Spirit? In Acts chapter 8, verse 5 to 8, Philip, one of the deacons, went to Samaria and turned a whole city upside down. In Acts chapter 13, verse 6 to 12, when Paul was preaching to a governor, and a sorcerer was trying to hinder him. Paul, full of the Holy Spirit, moved the mountain out of the way and got his victory by the power of the Holy Spirit. We believers are dealing with a world called the New Age. They are working overtime to win our youth over with magic, and we need to demonstrate greater power to silence them so the youth do not give in to their devices. This power is available in God for all those who are willing to pay the price. But unfortunately, in a very subtle manner, the devil is pushing the church to lukewarmness. You need to realize that whenever Jesus taught in a place, the Bible says that the power of God was always present to heal. I have discovered that when we preach about healing, God heals. When we tag a service deliverance night, a lot of demonized people in attendance will get delivered. We choose teams that show God that we are keenly interested in doing His works 
He said that he will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Luke chapter 3 verse 16 There is a difference between just speaking in tongues and having the fire behind your tongues. When you are baptized by the Holy Spirit and fire, it will be evident. Miracles will happen, souls will be won, and the whole world will bow to our Lord. Seek the fire today. Hallelujah. We bless God for the word he has sent to us today through our Father and the Lord that says that as the Father has sent me. One word that I can deduce from what our Father and the Lord is saying today is the fact that the Father has called us to do miracles. One of the things that Jesus was sent to do, the Bible says that he went about doing good, healing the sick. He released those who are oppressed of the devil. And that was the summary of the miracles of Jesus. He was always available and willing to heal as long as he you that needed the miracle was willing. And that is why Jesus would always say that, thank you, Father, because you always hear me. And he did those miracles to actually show us that we can also do because before he left, Jesus said it by himself that greater works shall you do. So our Father and the Lord is encouraging us today that we are in a world where miracles, where there are so many fake miracles, there are so many things going on. But then, if we as believers can take up this responsibility, God is willing to do real miracles through us that will shut out and shut down every performance center that are churches that are just performance center. So our Father and the Lord is calling us today that are we willing to pay the price to be able to be a carrier of God's presence? That even when you are speaking and people are not seeing you, miracles are happening. That even when you are you you speak a word, the miracles happen, and it is very significant at this time because the Bible even told us that some gifts like prophecy, they are for unbelievers to believe and see that yes, indeed we serve a God that knows the end of a thing even before the beginning. I pray that the Lord will help us; He will strengthen us to stand in this end time. In the name of Jesus, Amen. A prayer point for today. Father, baptize me with your power. Can we pray? Father, baptize me with your fire. Holy Spirit, I pray, Lord Jesus. Father, baptize me with your fire. Let me be baptized with fire, with the fire of the Holy Ghost. I want to be a carrier of your fire. I want everything I touch, everything that comes in contact with me, to receive a touch of your fire in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. A hymn for today. To the work, to the work, we are servants of God. And our Bible in one year is from Psalm 134 to 140. Shalom. Thank you for listening to today's episode of the Open Heavens Daily Devotion Now. I believe you have been blessed. If you love to reach out to us, Kindly reach out to us via this phone number plus two three four eight zero five 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 oh eight five two three. And if you want to reach us, reach out to us. If you want to reach out to us by email, you can reach out to us via the email contact at beautifulrosesnigeria.org. And also, if you like to sow into this podcast. You can also reach out to us via the website. There is a place for donations there. Or you can also send us an email. And you can also visit our website for more educational and Christian content. Thank you. God bless you and have a great day. Bye.